So at the Battle of Trafalgar, uh, Vice Admiral Nelson, Horatio Nelson, has divided his forces into two, into two different columns, right? Now, he's facing a French, a combined French and Spanish fleet that despite having more ships than him, he knows that his ships and his men have better gunnery, better morale, and he knows that if he can get into close quarters with the French and, and Spanish fleet, then he can, then he can uh, create a decisive victory, right? Because what he wants here is to have a decisive, a decisive victory. What that means is he's not going to line up his ships like this and, and fire broadside, right? Which was, which was a common strategy at the time. Because if he does this and he beats and he heavily, heavily damages the French and Spanish fleets, then they can simply be given orders to run away, right? If the battle's going too bad, they save their ships, it's an undecisive victory. Nelson doesn't want that. Nelson wants to have his men in the thick of, in the thick of things, right? So that if a, da if a ship is damaged or wants to escape, it can't, right? So that's his whole plan. Buy enough time, or rather get your ships close enough to the enemy ships without getting yours too badly damaged. That's his win condition, that's what he's playing to. 